Step one, got to clean up the mocap data. Um, get rid of extra channels and things like that. So what this is, is a walk cycle. This is the entire animation for this first bit. And it's a blend of Mixamo animations and custom mocap data that was all put together and blended in Unreal and then exported out as one big FBX. Um, and the trick with this is that it's gonna give you um, a bunch of curves that you don't need. Uh, and so what you wanna get rid of are basically all the scale curves and actually all of the tra all of the translate curves on things um, that don't translate. The only thing that is really getting the translate, uh, the translation is the hips. So if you select the hips, you'll see, you look at the translation, it's moving through space. Whereas like you can see the various large numbers, but if I grab, for instance, the neck and I grab translate, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, this little spike you're seeing here is the jump. See that between translating from an idle or a dead pose to mocap pose. And then this one's going from custom mocap to um, Mixmo again. We're gonna hose all that anyway though, because we don't want the shoulders to drop like that. So what you do is you select all the joints, unselect the hips, I'll select it up here. We should be able just to grab all of these and go delete selected. And now you should see no scale and we should be able to grab the hips or the, the translate and delete selected. And now all you're seeing is a rotate data. And look, it still works. So we're gonna keep that. And I'm gonna save this now as a cleaned up version of my mocap. And then the next step is you've got to reference in all of your sets and reference in your main rig and then the motion capture and then connect it.
Now, if I undid all that, okay, I'm going to get, um, I'm just going to get rid of scale on the hips because we don't need scale on the hips. and I keep the rest of those. Um, and so now I'm gonna grab all of these except for, so like if you'll notice the shoulder, and I do the transit, you're gonna see it does some stuff. So we should check certain ones and see if there are big jumps in the translate. So if you wanna keep this so that it does it, um, we can always uh, bake and clean it up afterwards. So, but like for instance, the spine, you see it on the Y a little bit, that's like 13 to 11. And then you, I mean, that's not even, it's nothing worthwhile on these. So generally on things like the spine um, or the, the spine nodes, you're not gonna see a lot of major jump. So it's not really worth, you know, worrying about that too much. Um, so, cause we're gonna just pull poses from this and make adjustments anyway. So on the three spines, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna delete the scales. And I am gonna delete the translates. Okay. And for the neck, I'll probably do the same thing. The neck, the head, and the head top. Um, shoulder I'm going to leave. Mostly because that's enough 14 to nine that it's probably going to make a difference. But like left arm, which is the shoulder, same kind of thing. But you'll notice it's doing that same thing that the spine was. It's like two might be enough to throw it off. Um, so again, like you have to decide like how much of these do you want? Just going to get rid of the scales. All right, left upper leg, we can take a look at that. Not really huge. So I'm going to hose these. Once you have all of that cleaned up, and remove, just triple check your, see how the shoulders look better, don't they? Interesting. All right.